Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. Jesus answers the immunity of the rulers, and that was to have authority with exercise influence over the people. They objected to his kindly claims, but Jesus shows Pilate that these kingly claims, however distasteful to the Jews, were no offense to or malice against the authority of Rome. Further than this, Jesus did not defile his kingdom, defined his kingdom, for Pilate had no concern in this beyond this. It was significant to inform him that it made no use of physical power even for the purpose of defense. Such a kingdom could no, cause no trouble to Rome. And the bare fact stated by Jesus proved that it was indeed such a kingdom. Pilate therefore said to him, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou saith that I am a king. To this end have I, also, have I been born, and to this end I have come into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Every one that is of the truth heareth my voice. Jesus here enlightens Pilate as to the nature of his kingdom. He, the king, and the incarnation of the truth, and all those who der derive the inspiration of their lives from truth, were subjects. For the purpose of thus bearing witness to and revealing truth, Jesus had been born, thus entering a new state of being, and he become into the world in this changed condition, thus entering a new spirit and action. The words clearly imply the pre-existence of Christ, and no doubt aroused the state of uneasiness of fear, which was increased by the words of the Jewish leaders.